Hello scientific people, how are you all? So hopefully during this lockdown period, you are all safe at your home. And the purpose of making this video is to ensure that the learning keeps on happening. So today I'm going to show you two simple experiments in which you are going to learn how to find the diameter of the spherical bodies. So this is a small ball. This is gifted by me to my son. So this is a wonderful smiley ball and I intend to find the diameter of this ball using a scale. It might sound little bit ridiculous but not. I am also going to use the rope along with the scale to measure the diameter. And this instrument which you are seeing in front of you is called spherometer. This comes in grade 11. So once you will be through with in through grade 10 and when you will come in grade 11 you will be learning about this in great detail. So I am not going to show you how to use this. Right? But you must understand that this spherometer is used to find out the diameter of any spherical body, small, large, any spherical body. Right? There are four legs out of which this leg is movable. If I move this round and round, clockwise, anti-clockwise direction, this leg will move up and down. The other legs are fixed legs. Right? So the purpose of showing this is to just understand that very precisely with the instrument also you can measure right but this is just for your information so now let's begin so what am i going to do is i'm going to take this rope of the of some finite length right this rope must be wound around the edge this particular edge make sure that this is the ball which is already given with the edge but if you are having any spherical body without the edge then you must be winding this thread around such a part through which if you cut the sphere would be into exactly half. You cannot wind the thread or the rope like this because this is not the diameter. Right? The diameter is always at the exact middle position. So if you cut the ball exactly from the middle, you would be having two hemispheres exactly symmetric in nature. So this is what I am going to do. I am going to start winding the thread from here along this particular this particular length. Okay, so now let me check. Yes, so far so good. It is all done. Now, from where we have started, the rope must end at that point. So here I'm going to make a mark. Here, right? So now I'm going to unwind this rope and I'm going to measure its length. Correct? Till here. So I'm going to keep the rope straight like this. Make sure that this is not an elastic rope otherwise it is going to ruin your experiment it is going to give error now let us study over here here we have a circle of radius r if i am able to cut this circle and if i open up this circle into straight line like this then the length of this circle is called the circumference of the circle and the circumference is equal to 2 pi r so anyhow the length of the circle is equal to the circumference which is referred as 2 pi r where pi is 22 by 7 and now I have this particular circumference the length of this thread mark thread as the circumference because this was the circumference length right so now I am going to make this straight and then from here to here I am going to measure the length using the scale so this is 15 centimeters till here then another 6 centimeters till our mark right so 15 plus 6 that is 21 <clears throat> so the length of the string which is equal to the circumference is 21 centimeters correct then this 2 pi is in multiplication it will go down there in division or I may directly keep here 2 r and then 21 centimeters upon pi so 2 r is nothing but the diameter 
right and this pi is, was in multiplication it will go down here in division so 21 upon this pi is 22 by 7 so 7 goes up so this is 21 into 7 upon 22 in centimeters so let me show you the calculation so here 21 into 7 is this divided by 22 so 6.68 so this is diameter which is 6.68 centimeters which is our answer which we wanted to obtain now the second part second part of this experiment goes in which I am supposed to find the thickness of this particular string so this is thickness or viewed from here this is diameter so diameter and thickness are one and the same so for finding that I require a small cylindrical pencil or I would be requiring a sketch pen anything may do a small pen may also do start winding start winding this rope around the sketch pen and make sure that there are no gaps when you wind you may make three windings four windings five windings six any number of windings but you should not have any distance between them like there should not be gaps like this right and you will understand why I am telling you like that so suppose I think these many windings are enough to support our experiment right so I have let me count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 16 turns I have and now this distance from here to here is one thickness so one thickness two thickness three four sixteen thickness and I'm going to measure the length so sixteen times the thickness is equal to this length I can easily find out the thickness of one particular turn right so that too I'm going to do with the help of the scale only so from here it says it is four point nine centimeters 4.9 centimeters so total this length is 4.9 centimeters which supports 16 thickness so if you leave some gaps there will be more the total number of thicknesses plus that gap will give you 4.9 centimeters which is not appropriate right so now you see here what I mean to say this is one thickness correct this is two thickness in the same way you have suppose 16 thickness and this thickness I am calling this as T so T plus T plus T 16 T is equal to 4.9 centimeters so T is equal to 4.9 divided by 16 centimeters this is what is the length and now let us find out 4.9 divided by 16 0 0.30 so this is the diameter 0 0.30 is the required diameter of the thread right so in this way you can make use of the maths and some common tricks in order to find the given things so hopefully guys you have understood this small experiment done by me and if you have any doubts please do ask and uh, keep on watching my videos during this lockdown time many of the videos are across all grade level and uh, thank you for watching the video